GRE quantitative reasoning. In this video, we will discuss percentages. What is a percentage? Now, percentage, because we have done fractions, so if any fraction, for example, this is a fraction 5 over 37, it's a simple fraction. But if we find a fraction in which the denominator is 100, so this can also be written as 15 per cent per 100 so percentages are just fractions with 100 in the denominator so if somebody says 35 percent it just means 35 out of 100 okay now we'll do some easy percentages first of all 50 percent 50% equals half. Just half the number and you'll get 50%. So 50% 50 of 224 should be 112. Half of this, 50% of 108 should be 54. 50% of 6 over 13 should be 3 over 13. 50% of 12 whole 4 by 11 this 12 will become 6 this 4 will become 2 the denominator stays the same so you can see finding out 50% is very easy now if 50% of something is 22 what was that thing it must be twice that so it's 44 50% of something is 3 whole 5 by 11 it must be twice the original number is twice it means it's 6 10 over 11 because the denominator stays the same now 25 percent 25 percent means a quarter it means one fourth so what's a quarter of 40 10 so what we are doing we're just dividing whatever number is there by 4 so 25% of 168 should be 42 25% of 4 by 7 is 1 by 7 25% of this thing is 2 holes 4 over 11 or 17 here the denominator doesn't change 25% of something is 3 then that something must be 4 times 3 that is 12. 25% of something is 5 over 21. That something must be 4 times this. So it's 20 over 21. Okay. 10%. 10% is 1 tenth. What we do, if we have to find out 10% of anything, we just remove the last 0. So 10 10% of 200 must be 2000 will be 200 if there's no zero then we just introduce a decimal so 10% of 532 will be 53.2 10% of this the decimal if you if you look at this the decimal is being shifted towards right because in these numbers the decimal was at the end so here if we shift it one more digit towards right so it will be 0 0.0023 okay here it was after three places and in our answer it is uh, after four places okay 10 percent of something is 15 that something must be 10 times in this 150 10 percent of something is 2.5 that something must be 25 10 times this 10 percent of something is 1 over 11 so it must be 10 over 11 okay now let's do some more percentages in which it's not the simple ones 50 percent 25 percent no so if we have to multiply any two numbers and we find some zeros there it's easy to do 20 percent of 30 this percent equals 1 over 100 
so we have two zeros in the denominator which can cancel two zeros here in the numerator it means 20 times 30 is just 6 because these two zeros are cancelled by the zeros in the percentage sign the same happens here 30 percent of 40 so these two zeros are cancelled so we are left with 3 times 4 is 12 35 percent of 200 now there are two zeros here again these two zeros go away so we are left with 35 times 2 that is 70 48 percent of 3000 again, two zeros go away so what we have to do we just have to multiply 45 48 by 3 48 by 3 is 144 and the zero comes here 11.5 percent of 50 now here how it should be done 11.5 now this decimal when we remove this decimal we can have a 10 one for the decimal and one zero because there was one digit after the decimal times percent for this percent sign times 50 simplify this and you'll get the answer 50 times 1 50 times 2 115 if you try to divide it by 5 so it's 5 times 2 5 times 3 times 2 23 over 4 is equal to 5.75 another one now here if we look at this number there are two digits after the decimal so if we remove this decimal we'll have a one and we'll have two zeros times percent times 32 what we have to do we have just simplify it 4 times 8 4 times 25 gives you 100 4 times 2 4 times another 25 okay then these 25 if we do it by 5 5 times 5 is 25 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 4 is 20 5 times 5 is 25 this 25 okay 5 times 4 5 times 9 so what we have we have 49 times 2 over 5 times 5 it is 25 and this gives us 98 over 25 or 3.92 I'm not showing the working for this. It's easy for you, I think. Now let's do some word problems. That is problem solving. In a group of 1,200 children, so the total is 1,200, 23% spend more than an hour on outdoor sports daily. How many children in the group do not spend more than one hour on outdoor sports daily? So if 23% do something, how many don't do that thing? See, if in a whole this is 23%, so this is these are the ones who are not included in this 23%. How many are those? We'll just take away 23 from 100. So you're left with 77%. So this is 77%, and these are the ones who do not spend more than one hour so our answer will be 77 percent of 1200 simplifying this two zeros get cancelled 77 by 12 if we do the long multiplication two times and then one time and then add them so you get nine two four that's your answer. These are the number of children 
they do not spend more than an hour on outdoor sports daily let's do another one 15 percent of his books were paperbacks okay if he had 45 paperbacks in his book collection how many books were not paperbacks so let's do it by finding the total first so we know that 15 percent of his total books were paperbacks and we know how many were paperbacks so 15 percent of total books is 45 so total number of books must be 45 times 100 over 15 this fraction flips when it changes sides 15 times 1 15 times 3 so you get 300 this is the total number of books and the books that are not paperbacks must be the remaining ones so we just take away 45 from 300 and we are left with 255 five. that's our answer there's another method of doing this that's an easier method maybe because you don't have to calculate the total number of books we can just compare we see okay if 15% is 45 then the remaining which is 85% 100 minus 15 gives you 85 is how much so if you look at this 15 becomes 45 how does it become 45 multiplying by 3 so 85 must become what but the same ratio so 85 times 3 gives you 255 five. that's your answer another one a uh, Rehana spent 30% of her monthly income on house rent so on house rent she spends 30% on transport she spends 25% on books she spends 18% and she's left with this okay so how much she has spent 30 percent plus 25 percent plus 18 percent that all add up to 73 percent so she must be left with 27 percent so according to the question 27 percent of her monthly income equals 1350 so her income is 1350 times 100 over 27. 27 times 1, 27 times 5 is 135. So we have found out her total monthly income is 5000. How many dollars are spent on books? So on books we have 18% spent 18 percent on books total income is 5,000 15 to 18 gives us 900 dollars that's what was spent on books if we do it by an, uh, the same method which we used in the previous question that's comparison so we see that 27 percent is 1350 so what's 18 percent again if we try to find out the connection between them we can have a connection between these two and we can have connection between these two also let's do the same connection between these two 27 times how much gives you 1350 that is 50 times so the same 18 percent times 50 will give you the actual figure for this 18 times 550 gives you 900 that's your answer Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.